Like, you're going to seriously sit there with your whole head ass and tell me that is not an indigenous nose? Those are not indigenous lips? Seriously? If his skin was slightly lighter and he had bone straight hair, you wouldn't question for a second if he was indigenous. But because he's dark and because he has a strong curl type, you only see him as black and you can't see him as anything else. Hello everyone, my name is Achila Yana and welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here then just welcome. Today I want to discuss this video about an Aboriginal American elder who is Gullah Geechee talking about being a full-blooded American. Now, I feel like this video is important because not too many people hear their elders talk about their indigenous heritage and but not only that, they talk about being full-blooded or coming from full-blooded people. And I feel like this generation is out of touch with this talk because this generation and well, honestly, people of all ages love to assume that race mixing is the answer to racism and it is not. There are plenty of people who have mixed with pale people and still dealing with racism. Right now, a lot of American Aboriginal people or you melanated people in general are literally worshiping the mayonnaise, as I say, worshiping whiteness, in other words. And it is very apparent because for some reason, a lot of you melanated people like to claim white ancestry, even if it's not visible on them or they don't have none to begin with. But nonetheless, it is important to hear Aboriginal American elders talk about being indigenous and being full blooded because not too many people are aware of our position here in America. And not only that, but they're not even aware of our history and heritage. Because the thing is, the pale people, the white supremacists, the people that write the history books and so on and so forth, they want Aboriginal American people to think that they come from Africa, they are mixed race, and they don't have any Aboriginal American DNA. But that is farther from the truth. Not everyone is mixed race. And I know that some of y'all have been mixing in with the pale people or have mixed race cousins, elders, and so may have you. And that's fine. No one's not bashing them. No one's not clowning them for not being full blooded. But people need to understand that when you sit here and make wild assumptions that every you melanated person is mixed, you are erasing the full blooded Aboriginal Americans who are still here today. And I just won't allow that to happen. I can't allow that to happen. We have seen already throughout history, we have seen mixed race and biracial people take over the full identity of Aboriginal American people, Black American people, Negro people, whatever the case may be, because people forget and realize that racial classifications were very broad. And if you were non-white, then it was more than likely you were going to be categorized as colored, Negro, and so may have you. But the thing is, not everyone that was in those categories were actually Negro or African or whatever the case may be. Because as y'all know, paper genocide is a big thing that happened to American Indian people and still is happening. We still have Aboriginal American people being labeled and identified as black, African American, colored, Negro, whatever. So this is why it's important for our elders to speak up and tell their truth. Tell our truth. I feel like more elders need to have this conversation with their offspring because their offspring is going off on other narratives that people talk about us. And the thing is, a lot of quote unquote black people are ignorant to their own genealogy and ancestry. So they will go around and repeating what they hear other people have to say about them because these sources out here are saying, oh, well, you know, uh, black people, African American people, they are mostly African and then they have some white admixture and then they have very little American Indian DNA, which we know that is not the case. 23andMe came out with a blog in 2020 talking about how DNA ancestry tests can't prove if someone is Native American. 
So if that's the case for Native American DNA, then it will be the case for any other DNA. You cannot take a DNA ancestry test to an American Indian tribe and say, I want to be enrolled because most of the time they're going to go by genealogical evidence. And I also want to point out how people are saying that the Gullah Geechee comes from Angola. And look, I know that their tribal leader is saying that they come from Angola, but that just could be her though, because looking at her facial features, it's not really American Indian. And she don't even look nothing like the Gullah Geechee woman in this video as well, because this is why it's so important to take a look around and see who you have in your corner, because as y'all can tell, there is a lot of Aboriginal American people latching on to and also letting these foreigners latch on to Aboriginal American people and culture. And then they're telling tales about our people, telling the lies and the stories about our people that are not true. And this is why it's so important for Aboriginal American people to separate themselves from people who want to cling on to our culture and rewrite the story of our people. Because look, they can sit here and say the Gullah Geechee come from Africa, from the country Angola in Africa. But the thing is, Angola has a admixture of not only the pale Europeans, because we know pale people invaded Africa and they've been mixing in with Africans as well. But not only that, but indigenous Brazilians, both enslaved and free, went to Angola and settled in there and they mixed with the people of Angola. And not only that, but literally the West Coast of Africa, right, the, the countries of West Africa, they have indigenous Brazilian customs and culture and admixture in their countries. So people are very being very disingenuous about the history of Africa because here's the thing, indigenous Brazilians, they helped indigenous Africans in Angola become free and no one's not talking about that but yet people always want to sit here and say take a DNA test take a DNA test when DNA ancestry tests don't prove your race if you want me to do a video on Gullah Geechee people leave me a heart in the comment box below to let me know that you have watched this video this far to know that you want me to do a video on the Gullah Geechee people not even African DNA ancestry tests can prove where you come from in Africa because in my 23andMe video I did a couple of days ago, I showed y'all where even Rick Kittles were getting called out for the lack of accuracy his DNA ancestry test gives when it comes to pinpointing a racial African location that supposedly African Americans or any other people come from when they take his DNA ancestry test. So again, you have to do your genealogy research to know who you are. Our elders are still alive and breathing. And although their stories can be misconstrued at times, they can be confused and telling tales at times. Sure, that is a thing. But however, we are being taught not to trust our elders when they are the main ones who know the truth and people are telling us to negate them, belittle them, and not trust in them. And Aboriginal American people are going to have to make a choice. Do you choose the elders or do you choose the foreigners over your own people? Because this Gullah Geechee American woman, she knows who she is. She knows what tribe she, she comes from. She knows that she is from America and she knows she is a full-blooded American. And this is the attitude more Aboriginal American elders need to display instead of just letting their children run off the mouth and rewrite their family history and storyline to fit what these pale teachers are telling them in school so i'm going to show y'all the video and that's all i have to say about this commentary thank y'all guys for watching don't forget to comment on this video like share this video i love y'all guys and until next time bye
I'll, I'll get you, you know, like people can't spread their words out the way. You want to do it, but it's something, you know, as we age, you know, because I'm 77 years old now. And as we, uh, I speak, I know sometimes it come out wrong. But, you know, you want to put it in place, but, you know, it's hard. Hard for me to do it, you know. We went that far in school, you know. My you see that little girl, she correct me all the time. No, yeah. Grandma, you know, I don't understand you too good, Grandma. I said, how do you mean you can't understand me? You can understand other things, right? You can understand me. No, Grandma, I don't understand you. Then he think for a while. Yeah, something. Some of them, yeah, they call me from, uh, if I'm from Africa or, or you know, I, I'm not from no Africa. I'm a full-blooded American.